you know, you, you, you think you're free of all of that or whether that's still something. I'm sorry. You... I, I really don't. Uh, uh, what are we doing? And I invite anybody who's not a kid anymore, if you just stay open-minded a little bit, then you have these great new experiences. With extroverted perceiving functions, they do like to say, let's be open to different outside experiences because if you keep those things open. You're gonna learn new things. You might see some new connections. You might have new things to take in. I, I couldn't even really tell you what a liberal is. Actually, I wouldn't say I'm a Republican or a liberal or a Democrat. I think when I was talking to the person who was doing the interview that day, and that just happened to be my opinion. Someone that's not wanting to narrow down into one thing. Don't limit me and put me in a box. I want to be able to keep exploring and being open to whatever that could be. That's the nice thing is you can have opinions and they kind of change and flow. I called Fincher recently because in retrospect, everything changes. It's like 15 years later, you have such a different perspective on stuff, you know, a grandfather that I had never met. And I looked at pictures of him and it reminded me of dad and my dad told me about him. And I'm seeing some NE clues in terms of the connections and exploring that he does. I'm noticing the way that he picks out meaning. There's a lot of reflecting back on his past experiences and seeing new connections. It's really interesting having this experience and it's just making me think of all these different things. There's a lot of compare and contrast, but compare and contrasting backwards. That's different from the NI perspective shifting or the SE type of exploring. Yeah, I do agree. I think I'm seeing extroverted intuition. When we're saying it's probably a lot more extroverted perceiving function higher is because every time he looks at experience that he had, he will go and jump to the new thing. Oh yeah, I look back at it. This is new. This is new. I'm so comfortable with mining the new things that I'm seeing from this rather than holding on to the narrative. After doing these videos over and over again, I've noticed with EP personality types, if you try to look for that second function, you're like, I don't know, I'm seeing both, I'm seeing blah, blah, blah. But if you look at the third function, suddenly things will become a lot clearer. What's weird is like, it's almost like this foggy lens. Once you start seeing the third function more, then suddenly you can see the second one. Mm -hmm. It's very strange. It's just because they blend it so much that it's difficult to just isolate it and go, that is purely TI or FI. Because most of the time with EPs, they're using both on and off, even interchangeably kind of playing around with it. Every time I get an EP, I, I type them for so, so, so long. They just don't want to narrow down to anything. I don't want to pick a side. I am anything and everything. What kind of music do you like? Everything. What kind of <laughs> things do you like to do? Lots of stuff. It's very difficult to just pinpoint their FI and TI in terms of what their personal reasons or motivations are. For EPs, that openness makes them so flexible that you are not able to find that FI and TI. A different kind of guy. None of the mannerisms of anything that we'd ever seen before that you that you had perfected. And they had that kind of discipline. Really admirable and why I have always looked up to you and why I continue to look up to you. And that thing still, I mean, talk about that. Like, what, what, what was that? Why is that still alive? I mean, uh, uh, look, and, and then we'll uh, move on to a far more uh, interesting subject. I'm not sold on F.E. with Robert Downey Jr. Really? I'm not saying he's either of them. I'm just saying I'm surprised at how the signal isn't coming out clear. With F.E., there is just always this paying attention to what is the feeling needed in this interaction. Almost like what is missing in this interaction and then how can I fill that? How can I contribute to that? And I'm not really seeing, he clearly is, likes to offer praise and compliments and whatever, but I'm not seeing him like closely tracking, oh, this is a great time to like put in a compliment or this is a time when I'm supposed to be making this other person feel supported. It, it feels a little bit different. And normally with ENTPs, it's a little more performative. He's clearly playful. Mm -hmm. He's clearly expressive, but is it performative in an effy way where he's literally changing himself to create mm -hmm. a feeling for the other person? The focus is on creating a feeling for the other person. I'm not fully seeing that at the moment. There should be FE showing up with an ENTP.
And if the signal is a little bit like not the strongest, now I want to look around in a different direction and now think about does Robert Downey Jr. have any patterns of having a lot of personal feeling, but then also managing his personal feeling? and how much he shows it, how much it expresses, and sort of being able to play around with that. Like, sometimes he really shows a lot of it, or sometimes he just sort of like goes, like squashes it down, because this is not the time and place for that feeling. And it's almost like a the fire is like put out almost. Does that seem like something that he's putting any attention onto? That's actually one of the things I wrote down in the very beginning, but I was like, is he uncomfortable because he's trying to manage his emotions? Well, I think we've got Two, three more minutes on our, on our, on our agreement. Your foot's I mean, starting to jump a little bit. You better get to your next question. You, um, the reason I'm asking about the past is that you, you know, the dark periods you entered and, and taking drugs and drinking and all of that. And I just wondered whether, you know, you, you, you think you're free of all of that or whether that's still something. I'm sorry. You, I, I really don't. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, well, I'm just asking questions, that's all. Right. Okay. Bye. When talking with FIT personality types, they just talk about things make you feel things. And that's a feeling, an internal feeling that you need to manage and be aware of. Like that can be expressed and spill out or that can feel a lot inside and then you have to process that. Sometimes you have to squash down the feelings because that's not the time to put that outside. I mean, that's off to you, man. Seriously, Robert. It's a you're you're one of those fine artists who is constantly growing that's rare and you are that and i love you for it love and I, you don't and you have everything Aww. robert you know like you 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 don't need to you don't need to do that what a terrible place to be what do you mean do you see that though do you see this squashy squashy feelings with <laughs> effie again it doesn't always look like this but I'm a little surprised that, you know, if someone's giving you a compliment, you know, there could be social expectations about that, or that could be a, mm -hmm. you don't want to ha leave the other person giving you a compliment and you give them nothing back, or you're not like acknowledging it or taking it or receiving it, right? That's something that you might be a little bit conscious of, but instead you can see he's internalizing it <laughs> a little bit. And then he just sort of is like, Okay, moving on. You know, it's a little <laughs> bit like squishing it down. A little. What do we need to do to get this job done? And yet you go like, we know where the work is that's left to be done. I know those little corners that I sweep the dust into that I, I spend a lot of time making sure nobody sees. I know, yeah. if not the defects, I know the things that I haven't really looked at. So it's a little bit weird because people tell me I have everything. And so I, sh you know, they say these things about me, but I know me and I know that there are sides of me that I am messy or I'm not all that. Sometimes when introverted feeling, especially when it's higher, like for peace, when the outside people are telling them this opinion of them, like this yeah. is what I think about you, it's gonna question a little bit and go, mm, do I really think that about myself? Do I agree with that? As much as they have FI, they don't give themselves permission to sit through the entire process of FI. They'll actually like, feel the fe feeling and then kind of not feel like they're allowed to sit through the entire thing and so they might like use TE to maneuver the situation. Yeah. My question is how an ENTP would be going through some situation like that. It's just not, it's not about how it feels inside. It's just like, hey, cool, we're having a bonding moment outside. We're cool. connecting. We're connecting. Giving, exactly. you, giving a compliment back. Yeah. It's not like, Ugh, that feels a little... Why did they say that? Now I'm having to process how that feels for me. It's, no, it's not like that. It's just, we're having a bonding moment outside. Cool. I hope I can inspire other people to, uh, to, to find themselves, you know? Oh, but if we're looking at ENFP versus ENTP, what are the potential that ENTP is looking for versus what ENFP look for? When you hear somebody that is really excited about finding potential in people, it's usually an NF because intuition is looking for well, what is this possibility? What could it be? Helping people find their potential. It's really like that passion that that's the F part. I want to help people find potential. It's not just I want to find potential in uh, systems or things 
or just things that like will help think differently progress the world or get people to think in a new way infjs enfjs they will also relate to this i believe that they are potential in people and i really want to find that for them and i really want to help them with that I, I guess what i guess what it is for me mostly is that i would love the experience of uh of helping other actors feel free to do whatever they wanted to do and I think <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. It's just look at her. It's like I don't. I have a feeling she's not going to drop the ball. You know, yeah. that's a great role model because this one he really has operated in both those worlds and also has some more great like Sundance. Very competent. <laughs> <laughs> he's good. As Sean Penn was here. Okay. Even though I'm told this new film he has, he's very good. Yeah, Dead Man. Have you seen it? Yeah, he's yeah. amazing. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's really good performance. Interesting. He doesn't talk about Effie. Mm -hmm. He's talking to E this whole time. The whole time. What kind of career would you design? What would you, how would you shape it? I don't know about so much designing a career as much as staying really open to, um, to, to spontaneously feeling you know, what you're drawn to, what makes, what makes sense for you to do. I see a lot of people try to design a career and they go, I'm going to do a movie like this. Yeah. I'm going to do a Johnny Hanga yeah. movie and I'm going to do that. And sometimes it really works, but for what? And then, yeah. you know, I, you can do Johnny Handgun movies, you know, until the cows come home. Right. Or uh, it doesn't work at all. And then they're like, God, what's wrong with this picture? I just spent all this time thinking I had it all together. And, you know. The reason why it doesn't make sense to me is because when other people have tried it, it doesn't always work. When I looked outside to see if it was test iterated, it doesn't actually work all the time. So if it doesn't get the job done, why does that make sense? How many films ideally would you like to do? One a year? Oh, yes, that'd be nice. Yeah. What's to prevent you from doing that? Is it finding roles you like? Um, I guess so. It's partially that and also uh, partially, uh, I know it is a business and I do have mortgages and stuff like that. I mean, in some ways it just is my job. This is how I make my money yeah. so I can That's my feed job. my family and, and do the stuff, you know? It's my job. I kind of have to. There's a practicality around that. Also, I'm not rich, so I also need certain resources in order to support the outside stuff yeah. that I'm responsible for. Yeah. There's a lot of extroverted thinking awareness. Like there's things that I am responsible for outside extroverted thinking or extroverted judging function. And there are resources that I need to acquire in order to be responsible for those things. But well, there's like a level of respect. I introduced you to her. I like put her in a situation and I, to be I, on and camera. I love her. That is like, actually is really disrespectful. You're not single. That's so inappropriate. Yeah. Like she just laughed.